Welcome to episode 2 of Harry Potter, the game. Um, just tell me if you're okay with me not talking. I will be talking for this episode, but it starts to get a little tired. <laughs> reading everything. Not talking, I mean the reading. Reading it. Harry Potter, Hogwarts mystery. Harry Potter... I have a book coming on. How do we get here? Oh, right, potions are here. Hey. No, don't leave. You didn't like that. <laughs> okay, so you gotta hit those guys. What's up, Snape? This is your first potions class, and based on the bewildered look in your eyes, this could very well be your last. Unlike your other classes, this is not a place for foolish one moving and the intolerable screeching of mispronounced incantations. <laughs> you are here to learn the subtle science and the exact art of potion making. Ensnare the senses, bewitch the mind, keep your mouth shut. Um, I have noticed these episodes are upside down. Kinda. It's sideways. Uh, that is the only way it allows me to hold the camera, and I am so sorry. Today you will be produce. You will produce a simple cure for Boyle's potion. Now that I expect perfection, and know that there will be s- that there will be. S- oh, I thought that said serve. Severe consequences for failing to meet my expectations. Let us begin. Oh God. You think you're so special, but you're already guaranteed to fail, vids. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. Ignore her friend. Ha! <laughs> After getting reprimanded by Snape, we need to brew this potion perfectly. Oh, I need to. Lesson starts. To begin to cure, to brew, cure for boils, your technique must be perfect. Watch me. Not make me repeat myself. Focus. I click on everything. What? What was I supposed to do there? Finish your potions quickly. I want to see how poorly you executed this recipe. Oh, I'm here to see your attempt at the cure for boils potion. Yeah, nod, level up. Hmm, cool. Perhaps it's, it's an absolutely incompetent after all. It worked. Brewed my fr- I brewed my first potion. Congratulations, friend. In all my research, hardly anyone ever brews this potion correctly on their first try. Whoa. Wait. What's happening? Did you add Bulbadox powder from my studies? This looks like the beginning of the explosive reaction caused by adding Bulbadox powder. Uh-oh. No, no. Explosive? <laughs> I've failed the city.
You have cured the table of boils. You should have never been allowed inside my of my classroom vids. I wonder if I could have stopped this. Or is this you are somehow even worse than your brother. Ten points from Gryffindor. What? I got it though. Some choices require you to be at a certain attribute level. The third choice requires curse level two. But you're only at Whereas now I did something to my culture. I think I'd these for your incompetence, vids. I would, but Marula threatened me and my friend. <coughs> Sorry. And said she would do something to make sure I failed in potions. She's threatened by me because she thinks I might be a more powerful wizard. Is this true, Miss Snide? Absolutely not, Professor. Vids is clear just as mad as his brother. And just as driven to ruin everything in Hogwarts. Your family has represented Slytherin well, Miss Snide. I'll be watching you closely to ensure you do the same. I made the right choice by telling him about Marula. I'm sure you would have lost more house points if you didn't. It's only going to get worse, Vids. You should have known the coating. That coating, your coating, would make your potion... Explode. I certainly did. Yeah, she knew that. Now there's no doubt that I'm the most important first year, and you're nothing but a disgrace, just like your brother. Dismissed. I've had enough of all of you for one day. I lost Gryffindor 10 points. What's going to happen when I go back to the Gryffindor common room? No, you gained 10, and then lost 10. Oh. We completed chapter two. Dealing with trouble. After your encounter with the belligerent Slytherin Marula Snide, you must seek out a way to recover the house points you lost. I didn't lose any. I gained some and then lost some. Doesn't mean I didn't. That means I didn't lose any. You're a friend, Vids, right? Yes. Who are you? Ben Copper, my first year group in Norling, I just wanted to say thank you for standing up to the this night. Who told you I did that? I was watching from the end of the corridor. I've been following her so she can't sneak up on me, and if she sees me, I'll at least have a chance to run away. She told me the entire way here on the Hogwarts Express. She kept threatening me and calling me a mud blood. Sorry, Ben, that's terrible. Hi, like Ben and Fran. Ben and Fran. Marilla is obsessed with being the best witch in our year. And she thinks she has the, to impose her will on us to improve it. I'm just glad someone was brave enough to stand up to her. I'm certainly not. It's a joke that I got put in Gryffindor. Everyone is afraid of something good. Fortunately, I'm afraid of everything. I come from a muggle family, so all this is new and scary to me. I know how you feel. I come from a wizard family, and this is hard for me, too. I'll try to help you however I can, Ben. Thanks, friend. I'll see you around. I want to become friends with him. Report to Angelica. You already lost your turn points. We're in fourth place now. What happened? I gained some and lost some. Is where you can keep track of the. It's a Slytherin there. Courage is my lowest. That's more like me. Hmm. 
There we go. I'm sorry, but who are you and why are you talking to me about house points? I'm your prefect, Angelica Cole. It's a prefect's job to keep order in the house and help first years like you with their problems. Considering what your brother did to Gryffindor's reputation, I should have kept a closer eye on you. I'm not my brother. All right, I wanted courage points. I know my brother well, damaged Gryffindor's reputation, but I want to uh, be a credit to our house. We all make mistakes, friend. Of course, we all don't make mistakes that cost Gryffindor 10 house points. In any case, Professor Snape already sent you a letter directly to your, her comment. Why wouldn't he send it to me? Probably because he despises you. Snape hates everyone, so I wouldn't take it personally, but I would read that letter immediately. Vids, I have discovered evidence that your potion may have been indeed, may have indeed been tampered. Sorry. <coughs> um, while it does not prove your innocence, it does cast some doubt on my belief that you are hopelessly incompetent. Bring me a jar of pickled slugs from the potions storeroom, and I will consider restoring your house points. Snape. There are directions of the potion storeroom at the bottom of the letter. No. Yeah, scourge points. Okay. Whoa! He's not gonna kill me? Oh, sorry. Well, be careful. I would hate to have Snape kill my only friend. He's offering to give us back the ten and a half points you lost, hurry to the storeroom before he changes his mind. Alright. Go. Go. Not now. Collect slut. Can't see anything. Lumos. Lumos. There you go. What the heck? What is that thing? A dead plant called Devil's... A deadly plant called Devil's Snare. Some fourth year Slytherin showed it to me when I was in full. It's, sens it's sensitive to light. If you're really better at the wand lighting charm than me, escaping should be no problem. Oh no. It was all a trick. He's not. Rula, you lock me in here? I was sending you a fake letter from Snape. I told you things would only get worse for you, Fids. Something has to stop you from ruining Hogwarts. It may as well be Devil's Snare. Ah! No, 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 no. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Was I have to get out of here? Really wasn't lying. The devil snare seems to be recording the light. I'll try to hold that off with Luma's like. <laughs> Lumos. It worked. Oh no, there are so many of them. No. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Go. Go. No. OK. 
Okay then, well, I'll be back when I have three more. Great. See you in nine minutes. Hey guys. Yeah, so... <coughs> after... Not like nine minutes. I actually used two already. And then I got bored and went off it. So I have one more left. And boom. Correct. Get them. Get them good. Lumios. Oh, don't tell me there's another one. Help, someone, please. Great. <sighs> well, I guess I'm gonna see you. In nine more minutes. Sorry for keep having to do that. Hopefully, I won't have to do it again, but I probably will. Tug at vines! Alright, Lumos. I was off a little bit. Lumos. I think I got it. Oh. Yes. Collect 100 cards. Brilliant. Hagrid. Gulpin, Gulgirls, Gryffindor, Gryffindor, get away from that devil's snare, you're scaring it, I'm scaring it, let's get you out of here, oh no, you're in trouble, you see my life, thank you mister, Reeves Hagrid at your service, I'm keeper of the keys and grounds at Hogwarts, pleasure to meet you. I'm friend of it. Oh, you're the one everyone's been talking about. How you totally really does run in your family. How'd you end up in there, friend? First year Slytherin named Marie this night locked me inside. She did? What are you going to do? Get revenge. Yes, British boy. I'm going to make her pay for trying to kill me. I can't blame you for feeling that way, but revenge really works out well for anyone. You might want to reconsider. I'd head back to common room and take some time to think. Friend, I don't want you doing something you'll regret. You might want to do something about those robes. That does never got you good. Thanks, Hagrid. Hopefully, I'll see you again. You certainly will, friend, but for now, you better get back to your common room. Okay. Let's go. Boop. Report to Angelica. Bloody. What happened to your robes? I got snared by Devil Snare. Devil Snare? How? What happened with Professor Snape? It was a trick. Marilla Snide faked the note and trapped me in a room with Devil Snare. What is it with you and that this girl? I think she's threatened by me. And I think she hates that I'm the only first year who has stood up to her. And I take it you once again don't have any proof. I have the fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you can't go around the castle just like that. Professor McGonagall will have a fit. People already look at you like you're mad because of your brother. Go and change into fresh robes, or better yet, pick something to wear outside class hours. Ooh. Okay, let's see this, so. Okay. Hey, man. No, I'm not going to buy something. Huh? 
I don't get a difference with any of these. So confused. See how you look. Oh, that's much better. Now you don't look like someone used you to practice the severing term. Thanks, but I'm mainly just happy to be alive. Well, you'd better hurry to your first flying class before you're expelled. I I trained you to the ropes because I just really like the look of it. See if you can find a way to earn bat house points while you're there. That's all I want to show me. Come on. Testing grounds. Like a test? I don't want to take a test. Okay. Hey, welcome to your first flying class. I will be instructor, Madam Hoosh. You will begin by observing before learning to summon your broom in your next flying class. Oh, this will probably be the last class. I'm just saying. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to the left side of your broomstick. I've been dreading this class all summer. You're afraid of heights? Falling from heights mostly. <laughs> I told you I come from a mega family. The idea of flying through the sky on a broom is terrifying. Believe it or not, I've never flown on a broom either. My mom was pretty strict about us using magic outside of school. I don't think I can do this, friend. Yeah. You can do this, Ben. Just concentrate on the broom and try not to think about falling. Do you promise to catch me if I fall? I promise to try my best. That's not very reassuring, but I suppose I have to try sooner or later. Even you don't have anything to fear from today's class, Mr. Copper. You will only be observing today. What? Okay. Demonstration. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to demonstrate proper broomstick techniques. It will likely take a painful tumble if you lose focus, even for a second. Pay attention to me. Oh. That's all I had to do last time. I thought I'd uh, like make a circle or hold it or something. Yes! Everything we will do now. Lecture. Listen up, boys and girls. I'm going to explain several important bits of information to you. Keep upgrading that. Now let's see. Anderson, the teacher was. Quite a yes! Alright, that was just a guess. It seemed like. Okay, um, I. Let's see. No, I cannot. I don't have to go. Ooh, iron house points. Sorry, it's just loud outside. If that someone is here or something. <laughs> I suppose I don't have to worry about flying if I never actually fly. 
Thank you for helping me, friend. I may be able to fly soon if I keep following your lead. I think you've chosen a fine tutor, Mr. Copper. Mr. Frids, you appear to have a knack for helping your classmates overcome their fears. Ten points to Gryffindor. Yes! You just need to get used to the idea of flying, Ben. I'm sure Rowan has some books about flying that we can borrow. I do like reading books. Hardly anyone ever falls to their death while reading books. <laughs> True. Unless they're reading it on like the top of a very tall tower while flying. I've been meaning to talk to Rowan anyway. We've had a rough go of it so far. I think he takes it harder than me. You should ask him to play gobstones. I'd play myself, but I'm afraid of getting sprayed. Okay, I'm going, this has been a kind of long episode, so I'm gonna leave it off here.